medical traditions has been that if someone has persistent pain, we would traditionally have said to them that you'll have pain for the rest of your life, the best you can do is learn to manage it. But in a new way of thinking, that's not necessarily the case. And I think in some ways it's quite arrogant for us to say to someone medically that you will always have pain. One of the things that, that inspires me, I suppose, or gives me hope as I look at our system is the, the possibility that we can redesign the system to make it better. I think one of the challenges in the way we organise health at the moment is there's been quite a big push for efficiency, churning people through, look at the numbers, that type of an approach. And one of the things that has really challenged me is to think about ways in which we can redesign the system to protect, it's almost a sacred space if you want to call it that, but the space for a human to human discussion in the healthcare system between a doctor, a nurse, some other health professional and the person in pain. But I think that's one of the, the surprising positives that I've found in the way that we've been able to reorganise the system somewhat, which is quite a hard thing to do. It's just finding the quiet moments where one does get an opportunity to, to really listen, to really talk back and forth with someone. They're some of the most special times and I think it is quite a privilege in a way working in a pain clinic because we do protect a bit of time to talk to people. We find that even not having met them before, often it is a chance to get into quite a lot of detail about their life story and we can often track through from childhood through adolescence through to the, the traumatic episode often that triggered the onset of the pain and then beyond to the current. So we really get a chance to talk very deeply with people and that is something uh, that I've enjoyed in a way. I mean they're difficult discussions but they're also very hopeful discussions because you come out of it thinking yeah in a way we've had a very meaningful conversation. We don't always know where that's going to flow and maybe the outworkings of that conversation may be a year or two down the track but they're some of the very heartwarming moments for me in terms of pain medicine practice. It's a matter of believing the person and pain is what the person says it is, is very much part and parcel of the zone. If we come in from a perspective of not believing, then it always puts us in a place of judgment where we're trying to say, is this person for real or not? So I think it's a foundational thing that we need to believe the person in pain. Pain is what the person says it is, uh, very much a cornerstone of pain management.